Hello and welcome to another CPD short from Complete Mathematics. And this time I'm going to be looking at alternative method for subtraction. So to begin with, we're going to do the traditional method. So 432 minus 287. And let's put our column headings in as well, so our hundreds, tens and our units. Now 2 minus 7, because 7 is greater than 2, we'll ex exchange from this 3 here, these 3 tens. Gives us a an extra 10 units there, 12 minus 7 is 5. Same problem here, so we'll exchange this 100 for 10 tens. And 12 tens minus 8 tens is 4 tens, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So we get our answer of 145. Uh, now quite often you might find that some students struggle with the exchanging, so here's a different method which doesn't require any exchanging. So it's set out exactly the same way, so 432 minus 287. Again, let's put our headings on, our hundreds, tens, and our units. Now, what, what you're quite hear, often hear in the classroom at this point is 2 minus 7, and pupils will say things like, you can't do that, sir. Well, of course, you can do 2 minus 7. 2 minus 7 is negative 5. So let's write in negative 5. 3 minus 8, again, it can be done. 3 minus 8 is also negative 5. And 4 minus 2 is positive 2. So we've ended up with this weird looking numeral here, 2, negative 5, negative 5. But if you actually think and break down what this actually means, in terms of our place values, we've got positive 200. Then we've got negative 5 tens, or minus 50. And then here we've got negative 5 units, or minus 5. And if we work out this calculation, 200 minus 50 is 150, minus 5 is 145. You get exactly the same answer, um, but this method here doesn't involve any exchanging. The trade-off, of course, is that pupils need to be comfortable with, with going into negative numbers. So there's just an alternative method for subtraction. As always, post your thoughts and comments in the thread below.